humanoid robotics just hit a game-changing milestone. Meet the Forerunner K2 from China's Kepler Robotics, a humanoid robot capable of lifting 35 pounds per hand with ease. That's right, 35 pounds, making it a potential powerhouse in industrial and everyday applications. But how does it stack up against Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 or Figure 02? And more importantly, could this be China's answer to the race for advanced humanoid robots? Before we dive in, how far are we from a future where robots become our co-workers or even replace human labor? Are we truly prepared for a world where machines might outperform us in strength, precision, and intelligence? Let's explore why the Forerunner K2 is making waves and sparking both excitement and criticism in the robotics world. 1. Pioneering Chinese Innovation Kepler Robotics and the Forerunner K2 Kepler Robotics has emerged as a rising star in humanoid robotics. The company's latest creation, the Forerunner K2, builds on its predecessor, the K1, with groundbreaking enhancements in both hardware and software. Standing at 5 feet 10 inches and weighing 187 pounds, the K2 is not just a machine, it's a technological marvel. With 52 degrees of freedom, including an incredibly dexterous hand featuring 11 degrees of motion and fingertip sensors with 96 contact points, this robot doesn't just lift heavy loads, it manipulates objects with human-like precision. Compare this to Tesla's Optimus Gen 3, which also boasts impressive hand dexterity but hasn't showcased the same level of tactile feedback capabilities. And let's not forget Figure 02, another competitor in the field. While it excels in walking fluidity, critics argue that Kepler's focus on strength and real-world applications gives it a unique edge. What sets the Forerunner K2 apart? Its ability to seamlessly integrate strength, intelligence, and adaptability in diverse scenarios like manufacturing, logistics, and even high-risk operations. 2. Strength versus Criticism The debate over the Forerunner K2 One of the K2's standout features is its ability to lift 35 pounds per hand, a feat that surpasses many of its competitors. Imagine a future where humanoid robots like the K2 handle materials in warehouses, conduct inspections in hazardous environments, or assist in manufacturing processes requiring precision and strength. However, not everyone is convinced. While the K2's strength is undeniably impressive, its walking gait has been a point of contention. Critics on Reddit didn't hold back, with one user saying, that's one of the worst walks I've seen in this year's robotics, but competition is always good. Another chimed in, comparing it unfavorably to Honda's Asimo, stating, literally Asimo from 15 years ago. For context, Asimo, Honda's pioneering humanoid robot, last showcased its abilities over a decade ago. While Asimo was known for its smooth walking and agility, the K2 seems to prioritize strength and practical application over aesthetics. This raises an important question. Does the ability to walk gracefully outweigh the importance of real-world utility in industrial settings? 3. Advanced AI and Dexterity beyond the walking gait. At the heart of the Forerunner K2 is its advanced AI system, powered by the proprietary Nebula platform. This cognitive model enables the robot to perceive, learn, and adapt to its surroundings in real time. Through imitation and reinforcement learning, the K2 can autonomously perform complex tasks while working alongside human operators. Here's what makes its AI capabilities extraordinary. Vision system. Enhanced with advanced navigation software, it allows the robot to dynamically react to obstacles. Dexterous hands. Equipped with sensor arrays, the robot's hands can manipulate fragile or complex objects, a feature crucial for tasks like quality control and sample processing. While Tesla's Optimus is designed primarily for in-house production tasks, Kepler has a broader approach, testing the K2 across various industries like logistics, research, and education. Despite its criticisms, the K2's robust AI and adaptability cannot be overlooked. 4. Global Implications – China's Response to the Humanoid Race The unveiling of the K2 at GI Tech's Global 2024 has sparked comparisons to Tesla's Wii Robot event earlier this year. Just as Optimus wowed audiences by greeting attendees, 
the K2 demonstrated its real-world potential by engaging with visitors live. But the K2 is more than just a showcase. It symbolizes China's ambition to lead in humanoid robotics, challenging global players like Tesla and Boston Dynamics. This robot is not just a technological feat, it's a statement of intent. Consider this. While Tesla plans to deploy thousands of robots in its production lines, Kepler has a broader vision. Its robots are being tested for tasks like patrol inspections, materials handling, and even high-risk operations. The potential for widespread application could redefine productivity, echoing Bill Gates' vision of a world where humans don't have to work so hard. Balancing promise with criticism. As exciting as the Forerunner K2's capabilities are, it faces challenges beyond just walking aesthetics. Skeptics argue that while strength and precision are crucial, the robot's overall fluidity and user perception also play a significant role in adoption. Kepler seems to be focused on the functional utility of its robots, emphasizing how they can solve real-world problems. Critics, however, remind us of the importance of balance. Robots must not only work effectively, but also integrate seamlessly into human environments. The bigger picture. A robotic revolution? As humanoid robots enter the workplace, the implications are profound. Imagine a world where robots like the K2 become indispensable in industries, reducing human labor but raising ethical and societal questions. Will robots create or eliminate jobs? Can humans maintain control over AI-driven machines? These questions are no longer hypothetical. With companies like Kepler and Tesla pushing the boundaries, we're entering an era where robots are not just tools, but collaborators. Despite its detractors, the K2's development signals a future where humanoid robots are increasingly capable of contributing to various industries. Kepler's ambition to make these robots accessible at $20,000, $30,000 further, underscores its vision for mass adoption. The Forerunner K2 represents a significant leap forward in humanoid robotics. Its ability to lift 35 pounds per hand is not just a technical achievement. It's a symbol of how far robotics has come and where it's headed. In the race for humanoid supremacy, China's Kepler Robotics is staking its claim. With mass production slated for late 2024, the K2 could soon become a common sight in workplaces worldwide. But as we marvel at its capabilities, we must also confront the bigger questions. Are we ready for the rise of humanoid robots? And what does this mean for humanity's role in the age of machines? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on the latest in robotics and AI.